Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bianca. Today I have 15 Dollar Tree DIYs for fall. I know I mentioned I wasn't going to do any fall DIYs till August 1st, but I just been so inspired from all of the decor at like Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby. It's just so pretty, especially Joanne's. They have some really pretty fall decor this year. So I hope you enjoy these. These DIYs are actually from the past two years that I've done fall DIYs. So I rounded up some of them and I hope you enjoy them. Let me know what you think and let's get into the video. For the first one, I'm going to make over this Dollar Tree pumpkin. I'm going to add Mod Podge to the stem and then add that really pretty glitter. But I do think you should do that last. So I would paint the pumpkin first. I'm going to give this pumpkin about two coats of the chalk paint. To create a buffalo check on anything, you need three colors. A white paint, which is the color of the pumpkin already, and then since I'm using this green paint, you need a lighter and darker color of that specific colored paint. So for me, since I'm using green, all I did was add some white paint to the green paint to give me that light colored green, and then I'll just use the paint inside of the bottle for that darker green. To start this, all we're going to do is just add some painter's tape and make stripes of the light green paint. Once the stripes are dry, I'm taking a small brush and using the paint inside of the bottle, which would be my darker green paint, and just adding squares onto the stripes. Lastly, we're taking that light green paint for the last time and adding it in between the two dark green squares. That's it for the first DIY. Of course, it is not perfect. The lines are not straight or perfectly put next to each other, but that just gives it character. For this next one, we're making a very simple fall pillow with these Dollar Tree belt leaves and I'm just using a pillow I already had. So I turned it around on the back and now I'm arranging these felt leaves into a wreath. Of course, you can do a different color scheme if you choose to. So, so easy. Now I'm just gluing them down with my hot glue gun. I also know they do have fabric glue sticks as well. For this third DIY, I have a Dollar Tree base and some ribbon and all I'm going to do is just hot glue this ribbon to this base. I just really like this ribbon. I believe they have had it every year for the last few years and so I was just using it for everything. I even used it for Christmas. And as you can see, I'm just folding it at the bottom of the base. And that's it. You just add any flowers you want in there. These particular ones are from Dollar Tree too. For this next fall base, I am doing a buffalo check on this Dollar Tree one. And I'm not going to go into detail on this because we just saw how I did that. I painted the base white first and then I'm going to add the light green stripes and then, you know, continue from there with the squares. So right here I'm adding some Dollar Tree flowers with greenery that I had. Lastly, I'm using this pig with some twine around it just to wrap it around the top of this base. This next fall vase idea, I'm using the biggest vase I've seen at Dollar Tree, adding these little gold pumpkins in there. These little leaf lights are from Dollar Tree and I'm adding that about halfway in there. And also with this garland of leaves, as you can see, it has those little yellowish, orangish berries that I just used in the last vase. Yeah, 
For this one, I'm using one of those styrofoam pumpkins again from Dollar Tree, removing the little stem in the middle, which is just attached with the toothpick. So I'm gonna make a center piece with this. I'm just gonna take my scissors and create a hole in the center first. Don't worry about how the hole looks. We're gonna cover it with that ribbon. So I'm adding hot glue right here. I'm gonna stick the ribbon on the inside of that and wrap it around at the bottom to the opposite side and add more glue. And we're gonna keep doing that until we wrap the whole pumpkin. Now we're gonna add this tall Dollar Tree candle in the center. They come in a two pack from there and then we'll add florals around it. If it's wobbly, just add hot glue to the bottom. I'm creating a garland with these Dollar Tree pumpkins and what I'm going to do is paint them all white first because we're going to do a gray and black buffalo check. So as you can see, I have the gray and black paint right here. Once that's done, we'll make the gray stripes on here. Sorry it's a little blurry, but what I'm doing is just using a piece of paper. I did try to use tape and it was ripping up the white paint. I'm just doing two stripes. Once they're done, I'm adding them on the twine. For the pumpkins, I'm using this hole punch at the top and then the green leaves are from Dollar Tree. They are burlap and they have a stem at the top and I'm just wrapping that around the twine. Oh my goodness, this brings back memories when I used to have my TV on my mantle and I hated it. I couldn't wait to get it off of there because I wanted to add decor to it. So anyways, this is how the Buffalo Check pumpkins look. Hope you like it and let's move on to the 8 DIY. This next one I'm using four of these white Dollar Tree frames and this orange paper. I know what you're probably thinking, it is super bright but you don't have to use this kind. You can use some scrapbook paper or any type that you have. I'm going to use this as a template, place this paper inside of there, put the glass back on and then glue the four frames together. You guys already know the drill. Once I glue the frames together, I turn them around and add popsicle sticks to the back. After cleaning off the glass, I'm adding this Dollar Tree wreath and then this Dollar Tree gather sign. And at the bottom there, I have just some Target Dollar Spot pumpkins and then some little picks from Hobby Lobby. For this Dollar Tree wooden pumpkin, I'm using these two paints, mixing them a little together just to brighten up that red paint. Now I'm going to take these metal words from Dollar Tree and use one of them on there and then take some of these wooden leaves and stain them to add them to the pumpkin. I believe this is the Jacobian stain and then I'm going to use this territorial beige for the galvanized sign just to make it look a little rustic. And then I just added hot glue and twine to the top where the stem is at. Alright, we're more than halfway done you guys. Thank you if you are still watching. Here is DIY number 10. I am using this smaller Dollar Tree foam wreath and scarf. So I did find, I think this was last year when I used this Buffalo Check scarf. So I just folded it in half, 
And I'm gonna use hot glue at the beginning and then at the end. And then I'm gonna add these felt leaves. Pick any color that you want to use on here. After hot gluing the leaves down, I'm using some smaller wooden leaves. Lastly, I'm adding this galvanized welcome sign to the center. For this DIY, I'm using a Halloween sign that has four pumpkins. I'm going to use the back side because this side has lots of glitter. Once all of that is removed, we are going to give it a good coat of white paint because guess what? I am doing gray buffalo check on here again. You've already seen the way I've done it, so I'm going to kind of speed up this part. Since I'm doing gray buffalo check, I'm doing light gray stripes first, then dark gray squares, then I finish that with the light gray squares. So I'm taking these Dollar Tree poster boards and adding fall to them, and of course this looks really pretty just using the stickers like that, but during that time I wanted to do something different, so I added them to there to kind of give me a template for the letters. So I traced them and then I filled it in with the King's Gold, I believe is the paint from Apple Barrel. And now I'm connecting them with that same ribbon and I will add twine to the top to cover up that hole. I'm going to turn this Dollar Tree frame around and paint the inside of it with this antique parchment paint. And then I'm using this Harvest Orange to paint this little wooden pumpkin. And then some gray paint for the edges of the frame. So before adding the pumpkin to the sign, I decided to distress it with some of that antique parchment paint. And then after adding thankful right there, I just sat it next to this orange buffalo check pumpkin. I used this frame from Dollar Tree to make a sign and it is really pretty the way it is, but I loved the frame. I loved the look of that. So I removed the center and then I had picked up these window clings from Walmart and I decided to use some of those words to add to the middle of that frame. Now I think it would be best to use a piece of poster board to put on the frame, but back then I used a piece of cardstock. I lined up that paint by adding some white or antique parchment to it. Since the window clings don't stick to paper, I'm going to use Mod Podge to stick them on here. So after hot gluing the sign on, I'm adding these wooden leaves. I'm just painting them with the antique parchment again, and I'm going to glue them to the frame. Another easy base idea would be just to add a couple of pumpkins on there. I have a large and small one from Dollar Tree. And I did end up using a recycled jar, but you know, if you have a vase or a Dollar Tree vase, you can use that. So I'm using that same green paint, the one that I just brightened it up with some white paint. And then for the smaller one, I'm painting it with that antique parchment. I'm gonna add these beautiful fall flowers from Walmart inside of there. I cannot wait to take these out. I love that burnt orange and burgundy color. So I'm gonna put those in there and that will be it for this DIY. I'm using this sign for this next project. You can use any one from Dollar Tree though. I'm going to use the opposite side and to cover up the holes, I'm going to use this Dollar Tree spackle. 
So I know they had different colors of this type of basket from Dollar Tree. So you can pick up any one. I remember then I only found this one. What I'm gonna do is paint it with this paint and then let it dry. And I think I gave it about two coats. Now we're gonna work on the sign. I'm sanding down that spackle and then I'm gonna paint the whole thing with my white chalk paint. To distress this, I'm using my Jacobean stain just with a little piece of rag. And then once I smear that on there really well, I'm gonna use a ruler and a Sharpie to create two shiplap lines, or full shiplap lines. I'm adding the word pumpkins to the top right here, and then I will be adding an arrow underneath. And then I added a little orange pumpkin in the center. And then I use a stencil to add fall to the front of the pumpkins. I'm adding some twine to the pumpkins at the top just to cover up those holes. And I did end up using hot glue to glue on the basket at the bottom of the sign. But what I would recommend doing now is drilling two holes on each end with the drill bit and then you can just tie it on with more twine or if you have zip ties. All right, so to put the basket together, I'm adding floral foam inside of there and some Spanish moss on top just to give it some height. And then I will be adding some pumpkins that I have been having for a while. I completely forgot that I added two more little wooden pumpkins to the sign up there. I guess I just felt like something was missing. So here you go. I loved this DIY. It came out so freaking cute. Let me know which one was your favorite. I hope you enjoyed all of them. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next video.